guys, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and last night, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. premiered on ABC here in the States. And I just had to talk about it with someone, so why not you guys, right? I've been stoked for this show since before Comic-Con. Now, for those of you who don't know, the series follows the government agency S.H.I.E.L.D. from the Marvel Universe, and is Joss Whedon's attempt to bring Marvel to television. Now, don't worry. I'm not going to do any spoilers without adequate warning. I know it hasn't had its worldwide premiere yet, and I don't want to spoil it for any of you out there in maybe Australia or UK who haven't gotten it as of today. Like, the trailers kind of spoiled it for me. So don't watch the trailers. Don't watch them at all. Overall, I totally enjoyed the pilot. Yes, the special effects were not movie quality, but it's a TV budget. And yes, many of the characters seemed a little two-dimensional, but it's only the pilot. And yes, they are all ridiculously good looking, but... It's ABC. Now, apart from all of that, I laughed. I enjoyed seeing the Marvelverse I know incorporated with this new world, and in Whedon I trust. After all, both Buffy and Angel took a few episodes to really dig in deep, and they're two of my favorites of all time. Now, this next part may include some spoilers, so if you haven't had a chance to watch the pilot yet, make sure to click this annotation to skip to the end of the video. All right, here we go. Agent Phil Coulson's seemingly lame fake death excuse did kind of bug me, but then they added the, he can never know what really happened, Thing, and that piqued my interest enough. Melinda May is back and totally badass. She and Coulson were my favorite acting performances by far and carried the episode. I'm still waiting for Skye and Fitzsimmons to win me over, but they're all on their way. I didn't hate anyone. Now, I would like to see more references from the comics, apart from, say, the one-liners regarding helicarriers. To show, hey, comic fans, we get that you're out there. I know that you get that we're out there, but can I get some, like, Hydra incorporation, maybe? Please? I enjoyed Whedon's writing and humor, and I'm excited to see where they take the extremist centipede plotline. And now for Stevie's thoughts. Jump on in here, Steve. <coughs> uh, sorry, I had to clear my throat. Oh, that was a little cheesy, but you know, it's Joss Whedon, so, and like you said, in Joss we trust. The biggest problem I had with it was like the, uh, the Back to the Future, like uh, where we're Lola. going, we don't need roads outro. It was a little too much for me, but I mean, I, I guess it's, it. it's, a, it's a reference to the comics. I guess that's the car that Nick Fury drives around in. I'm definitely interested in some of the mysteries and to see what what uh, superheroes pop up as a cameo. The fact that Coulson might be a robot or a clone or I something. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I didn't like the fact that all the nerds were like super hot models, basically. There weren't yeah. really any real nerds. Like, get a fat guy in the show, even if he's not really, <laughs> like, even if he's that's not that's ABC. Like, that's what they do. I know, but they could get, like, so lost had Hurley, like, representing the big <laughs> okay. dudes. Okay, and now for DJ's thoughts. Hi, guys. I liked the pilot, too. I thought it was fun. A little cheesy, a little too, people a little too good looking. I like But my, yeah. my actually, two biggest complaints. One, trailers, you ruined the entire pilot. Yes. Like, I'm more excited yes. for episode two because I won't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. And also, I thought Arrow's pilot was better. Like, I think. Really? It, yeah, here's the thing. At least DC's brave enough to, like, include their actual characters in the show. Okay, like right. every week yeah. of Arrow, you could see Deadshot. This season, we're getting The Flash. Like one of their A-listers yeah. is gonna be on the show. Well, maybe well, they'll bring on, some A-listers to S.H.I.E.L.D. Maybe, Hopefully. I mean, yeah, let's give Hopefully. them a chance. It's a, yeah. it's a mix now of D-listers and people we've never met before. That's okay. All I could think of was like, why isn't there a really good superhero show mm -hmm. on TV? There yeah. really isn't, e even with like- uh, It's not Green really Air. superheroes. It's, yeah, you know, yeah, and I think this Batman is kind of like our, our intro back into that world. So can you think of this as like heroes, but not taking itself so seriously? I hope so. Also in other news, we have DC uh, jumping in. On, yeah, with a new yeah. TV series called Gotham that's yeah. focused on a young Commissioner Gordon, which I'm it has a little of that Gotham Central feel to it, maybe. Yeah, why not? Maybe a little why dark, not? not so jokey, yeah. maybe DC, huh? Yeah, yeah I'm see. down. We had Smallville before, and mm -hmm. we had it, so why not have like a kind of like a young adventures of someone in the Batman world? Yeah, and Gotham. it's gonna be it's gonna be on Fox, which is weird. Yeah, it is kind of yeah, weird. But maybe it'll shed sure. some of the CW stuff, which is the only thing yeah. holding Arrow back. Yeah, that's why, boy, the c -dubs. Boys, final thoughts. Are you going to keep watching, Steve? Uh, I'm going to keep watching. I never really like pilots, and so I'm just mm -hmm. kind of like, I'm not really letting this be the, the, the kicker for the entire series for me. So I'm going to stick around at least two or three episodes, see where it goes. I just don't want it to be like a Monster of the Week type show, mm -hmm. like yeah. like Fringe was. Yeah, or I'm, like Grimm has become. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm essentially the same, but I'm going to give it a few episodes to see if I... If I stick around, but I mean, so far I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that yeah. it'll be a lot of fun. We love our Coulson. Coulson's a Coulson's badass. Coulson's amazing. Coulson's he basically, yeah, the best part of the he series. classes up the joint. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So yay, S.H.I.E.L.D. If you got a chance to see it, is there anything you'd like to see changed or incorporated into future episodes? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation to go to SourceFed.com. Or you can check out our new app that now has SourceFed Nerd included on it. Boom, boom, we made it finally. Ah, we're 
we're so excited! My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and I am so excited for S.H.I.E.L.D. I just want it to be good, and if it's not good, I might cry myself to sleep every Tuesday night around 8 p.m. I go to bed early. <laughs>